Hello everybody, my name is Radovan Bast and in this short video I will try to give you an overview over the modular code development lesson, which is part of a code refinery workshop. It is an important lesson, but it is also a challenging lesson both for the learners and for the instructors. And I will I will come back to this point. But first of all, why do we teach this lesson? Uh, most most codes uh, and scripts, they start really simple. They, they, when we start a new project, it fits into one screen and maybe doesn't require testing and interfaces and modules and encapsulation or even documentation. But over time, codes and scripts grow and what used to be a simple script can become a complicated and often unmaintainable code and that in future maybe nobody understands anymore after the original authors have maybe changed profession. And many of us have been in this situation and we have this lesson really mainly about to raise awareness about what factors affect code complexity and how to approach uh, modular code design. Some of the learning topics in this lesson are knowing about pure functions. So these are functions without side effects, functions which given the same input, always return the same output. Learning why and how to limit side effects of functions. And also discuss why and how to limit side effects of data. And discuss when a mutable uh, data might be preferable. Sometimes we discuss the Zen of Python. Uh, we try to motivate why single purpose functions are often preferred over multi-purpose functions. Maybe more generally, uh, the intended learning outcomes of this lesson are that by the end of the lesson, the learner should know about the concepts of side effects, state, purity, be able to motivate the use of pure functions, also be able to visualize their code in form of a call tree. But as a side note, this is currently not in the material, but I think this would be a useful learning outcome. Also knowing where in the call tree to locate uh, impure functions and modules. Be able to recognize uh, when to divide a code into functions and be able to recognize when to divide a function into smaller functions and understanding the advantages and disadvantages of encapsulation. Also being aware that code complexity might limit reuse and introduce bugs. And also knowing that implementation choices are often, maybe always a balance between efficiency, not only in terms of CPU time, but also in terms of human time and and also balancing disk and memory requirements, etc. Uh, at the beginning, I mentioned that this is a challenging lesson and we once got this really very fitting feedback after this lesson and the feedback was, this is a lesson that everybody needs. It's super important, everybody needs it, but you need experience to appreciate the value of it. But if you have the experience to appreciate this lesson, you probably already know the content of the lesson. So this is the challenge. And we have tried different formats. We have tried slides and discussion. And this was this repository in the past. We have tried fewer slides or some group work and then a discussion in plenum. We have also tried a live demo where participants can give suggestions and the instructor will try to modularize and extend the project based on the suggestions and discussion of the participants. And we have tried these lessons with one to one and a half hours, but perhaps this is too short. And it is difficult really to not become too abstract or too specific on, in, in one language. And perhaps uh, we should try to give, the, give this lesson more time. 
perhaps we should try a format where participants bring their own script or code, which we would then improve, improve in, in where we, we would improve these projects in, um, in a group, group setting. So as a conclusion, I really look forward to hear about your ideas and suggestions on, on how we can improve and deliver this, what I think is important lesson. Thanks for watching.